group of 11 people, including city staff, former police officers, and a Michigan State University student, have spent the past seven months trying to decide whether the city should establish an independent police oversight commission. Their recommendation to city council is yes. In May of 2020, the City Council established a study committee on an independent police oversight commission following allegations that city police use excessive force in two different arrests. We had a police oversight study committee uh, that was tasked with creating the framework uh, for a police oversight commission. The committee held their first meeting in October and analyzed public police records, finding that black people were treated worse during traffic stops. Based on their findings, the committee presented their recommendations and report to the public and city council. They put in the effort, they put in the time, and now we have this end result, which will hopefully yield um, one of the most comprehensive police oversight commissions in the state. Anna Fisher is a resident of the city and spoke in favor of an oversight commission at a public meeting in March. She says this is East Lansing's chance to get things right. For centuries, there's been disproportionate stops and arrests of black people, and this is an historical moment. This is our chance, and we cannot screw this up. Fisher says she's happy the city is moving in this direction. It makes me um, proud of East Lansing that we're willing to move so um, positively in this direction. Um, I think there's a lot more that we have to do, but um, I see very little resistance to forming this uh, Independent Police Oversight Commission. Mayor Aaron Stevens says this would be the first police oversight commission in the city and it's needed. Policing in itself is an area where we give a position of power to somebody who's not elected, who is not necessarily accountable to those people that they have that power over. And so it is important that there is a higher level of accountability. If City Council creates the commission, the city will take applications from people who want to sit on the board. It will be made up of community members from diverse backgrounds, and no city staff members or employees of the police department will be part of it. Probably be a priority on some folks that were on the study committee, definitely a priority on folks in those populations that have tech, that have that have really in the past few years that's been highlighted, but definitely in our country's history have been systemically hurt by over policing in different communities. Um, and also people with, you know, backgrounds in police oversight or enforcement. We actually Fisher says with more accountability and transparency from the police department, trust can be rebuilt. Clearly biased policing has not been effective in protecting black and brown residents who live in East Lansing. So hopefully, um, you know, at the very least, we have to start with that truth and make things right. The presentation will be presented at the June 8th City Council meeting. The vote for the permanent board is expected on June 15th. Your neighborhood reporter in East Lansing, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.